What up YouTube? Back at you, Cult of Speed. Appreciate you being here. You are about to be initiated, so welcome, sit back, let's chill. Today, I've just been out running some errands, and we got something uh, chill planned today. Just gonna go do a little bit of helmet shopping. No big deal. Take in some of the sun rays because there's absolutely plenty of them here in Arizona. And yeah, just ch chill and ride. Have a good day. I want to just say too, it might be stupid uh, that I never knew this. But I've wore, like, when summer, you think, okay, it's hot, I'm going to wear a t-shirt, or I'm going to wear a tank top, or something like that, and, you know, you want to be cooler because of it. Well, I was watching a video, shout out, I always, I'm going to get it wrong, it's like FX DLS, it's the Lowrider S Dyna version, model code, I forgot, Brooklyn. He's the dude, he's got black and white flames all over this really dope Dyna. Anyways, I watched this video, I'll link it down below just so if you want to check it out. But it's about how to stay cool in the heat in the summer. And he said, do the opposite of what you think. Wear bigger clothes. You know, he wears a big leather jacket, which I might try someday. But I'm trying this flannel. Shout out Dixon Flannel. Go watch my video on them if you don't know what Dixon Flannels are because they are literally the truth. Best best flannels in the game I just stuttered all over that best flannels in the game yes yes so yeah I am trying it today and I'm telling you what it works all right I am feeling much cooler than without a long sleeve so it's just a regular long sleeve it's a flannel so it's not you know anything tech technologically advanced or special but yeah I mean it's been helpful today I might try like a perforated jacket or something like that. Hey, in the comments below, if you know why my front end is so twitchy, please let me know. This front end keeps feeling like it's getting twitchier and twitchier. When I first installed these bars, I used to be able to ride with no hands. But now I wouldn't really risk it because I'm going to get speed wobbles. And... I don't want no speed wobble on a motorcycle going any speed because that's not cool. I did see somebody briefly in a video, I caught them mention briefly that, you know, oh, something needs to be adjusted. I don't know if it's the uh, uh, suspension settings or air pressure settings or something on the front end. They briefly mentioned it. I think it was on the thrashing vlog that they... It was just one of their cutscenes that they said something, um, so I'll have to look into it more. But if you know, comment below because it is twitchy. These front, these little bumps, they're um, just kind of really twitching it. So, anyways, but yeah, do the long sleeve. I'm gonna try a jacket someday when I've got a jacket. But so far, so good. What the guy said on YouTube was. You stop your body's ability to do science and sweat and actually cool you because the sun evaporates the sweat and doesn't get that cooling effect. So you rob that stage of cooling. Whatever. I don't know. Works. I'll tell you what. I don't know how you're doing. I'm going through some hard times both in my job and personally and everything and uh, you know I just am trying to stay positive and grateful and you know I'm looking at a beautiful state and great weather and I'm lucky to be here in Arizona I'm lucky to have this motorcycle and to, to even the cameras and to just have this activity of what I'm trying to do here but all that is to say oh man this dude was just over here and went over there right behind me dang okay um, all that is to say that, uh, you know, I'm trying to think of video ideas, and I got a lot of ideas. A lot of it requires financial investment, which is cool, because that'll come, and I'll be patient for that or whatever. Uh, but I'm trying to think of those ideas where, hey, let's do something where, you know, potentially, you know, we can 
just have a chill vlog without spending any extra money or whatever so please bear with me during this phase it's not gonna last forever and uh, hard work positivity and gratitude and everything and uh, belief and faith in God and everything will pay off so I just wanted to say if you are out there having a hard time as well just keep grinding like it is gonna get better and I'm right in the grip of it but you know what like when you go through what is it what was the saying if you go through Death Valley you know uh, or I think it's even with the verse in the Bible if you go through the shadow of hell something that like that but if you go through this miserable time well guess what before you were in that miserable time you were somewhere different maybe not as miserable but you don't want to stop right in the middle of wherever you're at you know you don't want to stop right in the middle of Death Valley it's too hot you don't want to just stop there so you just got to keep it moving keep pushing forward da -da 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 is where we're going keep pushing forward that's what I'm gonna do right now and uh, that's just some re-encouragement to you you know just keep out there grinding people see you oh hello all right so you're gonna have to bear with me too because going inside this store is literally about the most terrifying thing that I can think of right now because I've never really done the camera in front of people type of thing yet and I'm not super stoked for that so I'm gonna try my best to go in there with a camera and see how it goes so let's see how it turns out let's uh, go to that next camera all right so here we go here goes nothing don't judge me if this comes out terrible we're just giving it a shot So since I just mentioned the video, I want to look at some jackets too. So I think I want a leather one, but summer mesh something doesn't sound like a terrible idea. But here we are in JMP. I've been in here before. This store is literally really legit and they actually made it even better now. Like there's more stuff in here. So speaking of Dixon, my flannel here get yourself a Dixon. Look at all those colors. How do you not like this one is absolutely lit. Cycle Gear Special. $10 off any Dixon right now. This is a really nice jacket. I like these kind of jean vest ones so I might look at something like that. Oh, this is cool like a flannel jacket right here. So you guys might know any true Harley bro is probably looking at something like that. This one is not bad though. That one's not bad. This one's kind of cool. It's like a flat jean texture. Weird. See. So I'm looking modular probably. That's what I think I might do. And this is the one right here. So let's see. Like everybody else, Mod Bandit, surprise, surprise. Large is too big though. I need to go smaller. Yeah. Oh, that looks pretty sweet. And then you got the little jet fighter. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, I mean, it's comfy. Dang. Like, it just slips on like a glove, man. That's not the worst looking helmet either. Comfy. I don't know how to work the... Oh, there we go. Front little guy. And I mean, it looks like it's not the... That's a good backup. That's a good backup. I would like to see a better fitting. I'd like to see a better fitting Simpson. Because that one was too big. Small's not gonna work, I don't think. Oh, I mean, it's too small probably, but not the worst. Honestly, you know, I don't know what the hate is for this helmet because overall it seems pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely digging the mod, the mod style. That is better for sure. Okay, let's see. That's kind of a cool helmet. Like, I wish, I'd like to see this one in a mod. Like, this one's pretty clean. I'd like to see that one in a mod. Let's pop that one on. And by the way, just my opinion. Oh, where do I set that? Just my opinion, but every helmet should come with a black visor. Just saying. All right, let's see. Oh, that one's pretty clean. I mean, that's a nice helmet and it's comfortable. That's a really nice helmet. Comfortable. So it's DOT and ECE, so at least it has that. I think definitely it's Mod Bandit or no, or some other helmet. Ooh, this one I don't like the inside, it's kind of cheesy in there. It's all right, it's comfy, it's all right. That showy, that showy was definitely the best feeling one when you pop it on, like it was immediately felt really good. Let's see, what else do we have here? So my wife has this, I think this one, the RF 1400 or something like that. It's a nice helmet. This built one with the built-in comms already, the built-in Senna headset. That's kind of cool. Oh, look, this one, same brand. Let's check that out. Let me put this on. Let's see this one. Medium. Oh, that one's I mean, pretty comfy. It's a decent fit. It's a comfy helmet. I don't know why I keep doing the strap. I'm not going for a ride. Does have the thing. There we go. Okay. What do you think? It's pretty clean. Let's see what it see what it looks like. I mean, that, that's not the worst looking helmet. It's not bad, but I think if I bought this one, I'd just buy the mod, so. Okay, let's try the bell. Don't know the size, medium. It's kind of comfy, like the showy. Had a couple hot spots. The look is cool, but I think the mod bandit still. This one looks like it's just DOT certified too, which you should get more than just DOT. Okay, let's check out the mod. I wish they had my size. They don't have my size. Oh, this is a nice. That's 
awesome. And with the jean, that's nice. Let me set you down real quick. I'm gonna click. I think I'm feeling the mod the most, but that's just because I'm a true Dyna boy at heart, even though I don't have a Dyna, but I do want a Dyna. Um, that brand, I forgot. This one? Yeah, like this one, I forgot. It's something with an S. Scorpion. And it's got the ECE, same as the I Rock and Arai right now, which funny enough, I don't even know if they carry an Arai. They have showies. But I was sold on the whole Snell safety certification. And now I'm not sure. I'll link to an awesome video. His name's Fortnine, I think it is. He did a really good video on why the Snell might be a little bit deceptive and not the most amazing approval. I mean, safety standard like it claims to be. So here's that new, so see the ECE 2206, which, I mean, that's a cool looking helmet, that LS2. Which, I wonder if they have more of those out to see. Here's the showy, which that showy was hands down like the most comfortable. That was a good helmet. It just, like this flat black mod, wasn't quite the looks. This one's a sweet looking helmet. I keep coming back to that one. I like how that one looks. I wish they had the uh, LS2s that they had in the box there so I could try it. But I wanted to get a feel for the materials and stuff. Yeah, I mean, large is huge. I might even, just to get a better feel, I might even put the small on. Yeah, honestly, small might even be this size. It might be a touch small. It might be a touch small. This is why you don't buy glossy. You can't see, but it's literally got fingerprints everywhere. I don't know. I like the look absolutely the best. But overall, fit and finish, it's just okay. Let's see, compared, let's just be realistic. Let's compare it to this showy here. Let's get a different one because this one's all like apart. Okay, so I definitely need a large. So this one, got to put some things back together. I mean, really? This one's got some molding on the inside that makes it feel nice, but really the quality is similar. And that's a showy. I mean, showy's a nice helmet. Oh, and funny enough, I don't even see the safety certification on the show. He could be wrong. I know it's not the quite the one you're looking for, but you know I know the shell size is all the yeah, same. Yeah, right. See if it's a mod part or not. Yeah, that's probably perfect. Yeah. Yeah, because it's just pushing me enough right now. Yeah. It's gonna break in some. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Cool. Oh, that's actually, I mean, that's a comfortable fit. Yeah. Uh -huh. Snell rated. Right. Everything. In right. This thing was actually pretty so. comfortable and felt pretty good. They're really nice. I went in eventually looking at the Bell Raystar. Yeah. A little out of my price range. Yeah. Brother works over at Cycle Gears before I got a job here. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. He was like, dude, try the Sedici. Yeah. They're new out and stuff. I yeah. threw it on and I was like, felt 
so similar. I want something a little better to me personally. Yeah, yeah. That's why I say it's all personal. You yeah. Got tried on. Um, and I went with it and I love it. Nice. You know, I I run with some music. You know, I, I could say, you know, two to one and some little louder things. I could put, upgrade my speakers. Yeah. But it's definitely. Nice yeah, helmet. yeah. Having to break the bank. So. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this. Was, so this one's carbon too, even though they yes, painted it. Just painted. Yes, yeah. Sir. Sweet. Yep. Do they sell this in a carbon yes, look? They do. Okay. Yes, they do. What was your name again? Corey. Corey here at uh, JP Cycles. Come hit him up because he's been really helpful, for sure. So what they just had, what I just looked at here, was this. Not the LS2, the Sedici brand. He was straight up basically like, hey, it's a similar quality helmet, just cheaper than a lot of the others. It's carbon fiber. And I'll tell you what, when I put it on, it was a nice fit. It felt comfortable like the show he did and the materials inside were nice. The only downside is it doesn't have the aggressive Simpson look and that's, that's part of the battle because of course you want it to look good. And I do plan on like custom painting it at some point. And with a visor, of course, I mean, it looked way better with a visor too. Um, but custom painting it, I might look on Google and just see if somebody's custom painted one and how they turn out, you know, if they look kind of just as aggressive and mean as the Simpson, because the Simpson just looks good. If I'm flat out honest, that is part of the, like, that is the biggest reason why I would like a uh, Simpson, all right? I don't need you to come and color them and make them beat up for me. Not bad, not bad. Kind of like just Vans. Vans should honestly make a motorcycle shoe because I guarantee they'd sell a gajillion of them. Everybody on Harleys wears Vans. Sweet. Strider get people started early. Got this uh, little dissected Harley here. That's pretty sweet. This, not this brand. Oh, let's see, these are the street legal ones. And it's like, I mean, if I'm not getting pulled over, I don't want the street legal ones. I want the Baja designs, but this needs to go on the Harley like as soon as possible. Yeah, what are you riding? I uh, ride a lowrider ST. Sweet, that's uh, the bike that I would like. <laughs> I'm on a road glide, Very nice. Very but nice. I, my wife, like she'll enjoy riding the road glide, but I'm like, when I ride it, I want something way smaller. Do yeah. Yeah, so the low rider. It's like a stripped down road yeah. bike. My brother does it, he goes back and forth, like he rides two up with his wife yeah. and stuff. He's like, yeah. it's a little hard on her on this bike. Yeah. And then he's like, should I get the road glide? And he's going back and forth, but yeah. Like, oh, I do more riding by myself. I do, yeah, so, but yeah. Road I, are nice. I can't get rid of the road glide. It's gonna have to Go. be a second one. Yes, sir. Is yours uh, in the back? Yeah, it's right over there. Oh, that's your right here. Oh, you guys get to pull it right in? How yeah, sweet. Yeah, a very awesome boss here. Yeah. Takes good care of us. Dude, I'm going to go look at it. Yeah. Thank you, man. Home. Yeah, appreciate you. Uh, this is Corey's bike right here. And this is something I think I'm going to bring to the channel ASAP. Oh, and he did the Baja Designs light. See that? Yeah, so, I mean, this thing is nasty. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty cool bike. I like this exhaust, I don't even know what that is. Just got it, good for him. Whew. Already did the thrashing bar setup. Maybe not the bars, but this, that. Got these shorty levers, that's nice. Interesting it's not a hydraulic clutch. I would have expected it to be. I mean, that's a nice bike. Got this bar at the bottom. Dude, yeah. I mean, this bike is mean and riding it every day. I think this is something I prefer to ride every day than the road glide. The road glide is sweet though. I mean, back or life, whatever. But like, look at this one too. So he doesn't have the Baja Designs light but still a sweet, sweet bike right here. Oh, this one actually might be his because that's his helmet. Nice, I like the floorboards. 
Yeah, that's sweet. Your YouTube, don't mind me asking. Yeah, yeah, so my YouTube channel is called Cult of Speed. Okay. And basically just everything fast. That's my tagline. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. And I think I'm gonna head out because I got some research to do now that I've seen that Sadichi might be the one. We'll see. Or I might just be ridiculous and buy the one that I think looks better. <laughs> yep, that's, th yeah, thank you. That's, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you, man. Here, Corey, who was helping me the whole time, even noticed that I wasn't wearing a hat and he was looking for it by the time I walked back in there. So pretty legit. Like I said, that's going to do it for now. This has been the Cult of Speed. You have been initiated into the cult. Welcome. Everything fast. Let's do this. I'm doing some helmet shopping, doing some research. I think I've decided on a couple that I've narrowed in on. You basically know the uh, Simpson and the Sedici. Those were both pretty dope. And yeah, I'm going to go take a look. Like I said, I want to custom paint it. So I'm going to see what some custom painted ones are like and just go from there. But I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you taking the time to watch with me. And yeah, come by JMP Cycles uh, and check this place out. It's right off of Shea and the 101 here in Scottsdale, Arizona. And this place is dope. It's a really great store. It's got everything that you'd probably need. And if not, they'll order it for you too. So JMP, obviously, you know, it's a household brand in the motorcycle industry. Come check it out. And yeah, for now, stay up. Like I said in the video, you know, if you're grinding right now and things are hard, just keep pushing. Don't stop where you're at or else you're just stuck where you're at. Keep it moving. And yeah, just stay positive. For now, this is in the cult of speed. Peace.